Oh my goodness, hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good today. I don't have my glasses on because I get a really bad reflection with the ring light in my glasses and it just, it's very distracting to me personally. Um, so I can't see anything. So hopefully you can't see how messy my room is right now. I'm gonna clean it after I do this video. Uh, we are gonna pull a couple of cards for each sign in regards to the Sagittarius new moon just to see what's coming in for everybody. I wanna apologize for not finishing the individual signs. I did two of the fire signs and then I just got really, really busy and I have not had time to do any sort of like long form for YouTube. Um, yeah, I just I've been really, really stressed out and I hope that in the new year, it should get better in the new year, um, starting in January. Um, yeah, everything should be a lot better. I haven't done like the individual love readings. I also just have a hard time because not a lot of people watch them. Um, more people watch the all signs. So it's just like, if I had more time, I would put out the individual love readings for each sign. But since I don't have time and not a lot of people are watching them, it's just kind of, it's just very stressful. So I think what I'm gonna focus on is just all signs for now until I get a lot more time. So yeah, anyway, let's start with, since I have timestamps here. Oh my God, I can't see. 131, okay. Let's start with Aries. But yeah, thank you for being patient with me. <sighs> I'm out of breath since I just got back from the gym, so I'm like, Ugh. okay, what's coming in for Aries for the Sagittarius new moon? Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Aries, it looks like you're manifesting someone back who's really toxic. I'm guessing you want this person, so <laughs> I don't really know why. They're really toxic. So we have the Ten of Pentacles here. It looks like you want to actually start a life with this person, or they maybe you don't want this person, but this person is coming back to you. So I don't know if this is just like an old manifestation of this person coming through finally, and you're like, really, now? But we have the Page of Swords in the reverse and the Emperor in the reverse. This person is not good. Um, if you're wondering if this person has changed, they have not. They're still very manipulative. Um, I also feel like they're unable to like take action in their own life. And they're not good at communication either with the Page of Swords in the reverse. Overall, we have the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups in the reverse. This to me says that this person is very in and out. So. When they do come in after this new moon, they might tell you everything that you want to hear, but they're going to leave just as fast as they rushed in. So just be very, very careful. You could be dealing with an Aries, another Aries. Okay, Taurus. Sorry, I can't see. I had to take the glasses off. I had to take them off because the reflection of the ring light in my glasses distracts me. Okay. What's coming next for Taurus from the Sagittarius new moon? Ooh. Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, if you've been struggling financially, that's going to get a lot better. We have the Devil and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So it looks like you've been struggling a lot with stability and money. And then we go to the nine of pentacles, which is independence and honestly your money getting a lot better. So I don't really know what else to say about that. It's just gonna get better. It looks like you have more money coming in. Uh, overall, we have the empress and the queen of swords in the reverse. This is gonna require you to set boundaries with a lot of people or even yourself. So if you're like an overspender, it's time to start being smart with your money. Um, also, it looks like you're getting an opportunity here. So if you applied for a promotion, or you've been applying for jobs, it looks like you will be getting a new position or promotion. Okay, Capricorn and Taurus here. Very interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's go to Gemini. 427. Sorry, I'm just looking at the time on my phone. I'm not, I'm not fancy. Okay, what's coming in for Gemini for the Sagittarius new moon? Gemini, someone that you've been really worried about 
they could they could be a Gemini or an Aquarius um, or maybe you have those signs in your chart obviously you have Gemini in your chart but we have the Knight of Cups here the Six of Wands and the Eight of Swords both in the reverse so it looks like someone that you've been really worried about is going to either reach out to you I'm guessing they're gonna reach out to you um, it looks like they've had a change of heart or something they definitely want to offer you something in love however I feel kind of odd about it um, with the star and the magician in the reverse and the overall this feels like it's not really gonna last um, it kind of feels like mindset stuff especially with the eight of swords in the reverse here which is like mental entrapment so make sure to like I always say that if you're going to get back together with an ex, it always comes at a price. Like if you're going to get back together with an ex, you have to understand that like it's going to take time to build trust again. So just go into it knowing that it's probably not going to be the most perfect relationship ever at first. Like you're going to have to work through some things and communication is going to have to be the most important thing in order to like build this relationship back up again. So I would be very careful though. I'm always very wary about getting back together with an ex, but... Yeah, we have Gemini and Aquarius here. Everyone's showing up in their own reading. Very interesting. Okay, Cancer. 6, 17. I hope that... I'm like, can I see this correctly? I hope I'm right. Okay, New Moon and Sagittarius for Cancer. is like a feminine or female presence that's coming back they didn't treat you fairly in the past so I don't know if this it could be romantic obviously but it kind of feels like a friend or a family member honestly the queen of wands and the justice in the reverse they could be a Libra and we have the eight of cups in the reverse so that's them coming back I feel like they didn't treat you very fairly they feel very confident about what they're about to say um so I guess get ready for that. Overall, we have five of cups and the two of pentacles in the reverse. This person disappointed you a lot in the past. So I don't know. I kind of get the feeling that this person constantly thinks that they're right. So it looks like they're still in that energy. So I'm not really sure if this is something that's worth accepting. I'm going to say no. I feel like you've already gotten over this friendship or you've let go of this family member and you've just kind of accepted that like, like, it's just not going to work out. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know how you feel about that, but they're definitely making a comeback. They're definitely spinning the block. We have Libra here. Very interesting. Okay. Let's go to Leo. 802. Very quick messages today. I think it's just because I'm like, oh, from the beginning. Okay, what's going on for the new moon or in the new moon? No? What's going on for Leo during the new moon? Someone who didn't choose you is thinking about you. I don't know what that means to you. Um, I feel like you've moved on from this person. You've realized that this person was just like a lesson or something. I don't feel like you're even, I, I don't feel like you care about this anymore. So I don't know why this is coming up for you in the new moon. I also believe it's Mercury retrograde right now. So I, a lot of the readings are like, someone's coming back. It totally makes sense with, sorry, my cat just moved and I was like, what, the, what was that sound? Um, but yeah, it's Mercury retrograde. So a lot of people are just going to be coming back, whether it be exes or just people you don't talk to anymore, or you're going to be thinking about them. Things are going to be coming up from the past. We have the lovers in the reverse. Someone who didn't choose you is thinking about you with the page of cups. They're going to send you a love message. They're going to try. I don't know if they're blocked on everything. If they're not, if, if they're blocked on everything, there's really no way that they can get to you. But if they're not blocked, definitely expect them to reach out. We have the hangman in the reverse. I think that they've been, I think that they've been quiet for a long time and now they're finally like gaining the courage to like come back. Overall, we have the nine of pentacles and the six of cups in the reverse. This is independence and karmic lessons. This is why I say I don't think that you really care about it anymore. 
So I don't know if you want to hear from this person. It doesn't really look like you do. I feel like you're doing a lot better without them. I think they caused you a lot of stress. But here they come. Uh, Gemini and Pisces here. Ew. Okay. Virgo, 10, 12. What's coming in for Virgo? Ooh, five of wands. Okay. Virgo, it looks like some issues regarding work is coming up or, or will be coming up. We have the Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Since this is the new moon, I would start manifesting some stuff tonight about or in the next couple of days about like finding a new job, if that's what you're worried about, or just like new opportunities for new jobs. Um, yeah, Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. That's work and conflict. We then have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you do have a new opportunity that's coming towards you. Oh my God, my nose is just so bad. Um, you have a new opportunity that's coming towards you with the Wheel of Fortune. But I think you're going to have to really put yourself out there. And also, like, look at what you... I feel like... I don't know why, but I feel like you've gotten yourself caught up in drama that you haven't... That you really don't need to get yourself caught up in. And I don't really know if that's your fault or not. But please, like, if, if you've been doing things that you know aren't benefiting you, then admit that to yourself and don't repeat the same mistakes, you know? Overall, to me, the Five of Wands is, like, unnecessary drama. Overall, we have the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like there needs to be an admission here as to how you've caused your own delays in the workplace. And that'll really work out for you in the end with the Wheel of Fortune here. Just to be honest with yourself. Oops, I forgot to say what signs. Um, kind of feeling, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Not really picking up on any specific signs here okay let's go to libra libra you got 12 12 oh well all right what's coming to libra for the sagittarius new moon oh Everyone has someone coming back. Oh my God. Okay, Libra, wow. Wow. If you wanna get back together with someone, the it's in the cards. Uh, two of Pentacles, finding balance. And then we have the King of Wands and the Judgment. It looks like you're reconciling with a, with a fire sign, a possible fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Overall, we have Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, don't rush into anything. Don't rush into anything, especially if it's reconciliation. Uh, I, I feel like this relationship is going to work out if you take things slow. So just be, just be careful. Uh, so yeah, very short message for you, Libra. Good luck. Okay, let's go to Scorpio. 13, 25. All right, what's well, coming in for Scorpio? What's coming in for Scorpio for the new moon? Scorpio, you're leaving someone or something behind. I feel like there's a friendship here. There's a friendship here that you feel like you missed an opportunity with. Overall with the Four of Swords and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. To me, the Page of Pentacles is the friendship card and then the Four of Swords is healing. So I feel like you missed out on some sort of opportunity with a friend and I feel like you're looking to heal that. We have the nine of wands here. I do feel like this person would be open to like talking to you. They do feel like you abandoned them or maybe you feel like they abandoned you. I don't know, take it how it resonates. Uh, with the seven of wands in the reverse, again, I feel like this person is willing to like talk this out with you and like let their guard down. So I don't know who's going to reach out first. If it's a friend, like, I don't know, I guess it depends on, like, what happened between you two. But, like, um, yeah, I feel like that's definitely possible if you want to talk things out. So, yeah, I can't see too far ahead, but, like, 
I feel like they're willing to talk it out. You know, I, I feel like it might be worth it. So, okay, what signs do we have here? Let's say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Interesting. 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 Which means the conversation has to be calm. So, it's kind of hard for Scorpios because you guys are very, like, emotional. Um, not in a bad way. It's just... Yeah. Things are more... Uh, Scorpio is very, like dark and again not in a bad way you guys are like the shadowy sign so just try not to get too like i don't know try to be more level-headed i guess if that makes sense okay let's go to 1534 1534 for sagittarius all right saggies Coming in for Sagittarius. I love Sagittarius so much. You guys are so fun. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Okay. Ooh. Very interesting. Oh, King. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is the best reading so far. Um, you might be meeting another fire sign. So if you're manifesting a new relationship, I definitely feel like that's coming in for you. We have the Knight of Wands here. I don't know why, I kind of felt like this was you. Um, Knight of Wands to me is someone who's very fun. So, and I just said like Sagittarius, you guys are so fun. So I think that this is you. I think that you're kind of in your healing girl era. You don't have to be a girl, it's just a phrase. But we have the Four of Swords here, which is resting, healing. And then we have the Hierophant, which is like higher wisdom. Um, commitment. So I feel like you're either focusing on your studies or you're starting a new project or something, or you're just like trying to learn something new. I feel like you're kind of going inward. Um, the original picture for the Four of Swords is like a guy like laying down and he's like, he's not dead, but he's like resting. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just kind of saw someone like getting a facial or something like I feel like you're just really focusing on yourself and you're trying to figure out how you can have fun like outside of a relationship. And I feel like in doing that, you are calling in a relationship that's going to be very, very fulfilling. This definitely feels like your person. Um, we have the star here, which is getting a lot of attention. Um, manifestations coming in, having hope, and then the king of wands as well. So again, you could be meeting another fire sign. If anything, this is someone who matches your enthusiasm, matches your energy. I think Sagittarius needs that. Like Sagittarius needs someone who can keep up with them because you guys are just so like bubbly and fun. So I think you're calling that in just by focusing on yourself. So nice, good job. Good job. So you could be meeting another fire sign. Uh, Taurus and Aquarius are also here. So very interesting. I love Aquarians too. Okay. Uh, Capricorn, 1802. I'm oh, showing up in your own reading, Capricorn. With the devil. <laughs> uh, Capricorn, you're getting a con Ooh, four cards. Capricorn, you're getting a confession from someone who fucked you over, basically. Well, I don't know if you're ready for that. So it's very Mercury retrograde, right? So we have the devil or temptation in this deck and the seven of swords in the reverse. So someone who lied to you, someone who is very, I don't know, someone you don't trust, someone who's manipulative is going to come in and say something to you. Uh, we have the hangman and the lovers in the reverse. I feel like this person is really bad at making decisions. Like every decision that they make like keeps them stuck exactly where they are. Um, so I'd be very careful. I, I mean, this person should be locked in my opinion. Um, I don't know if you heard the, the honking. I, that feels like a warning to me. But like, um, I feel like this person should definitely be blocked. I don't think that this person should have any access to you. So hopefully this person is blocked. This is your sign to block them if they're not. Overall, we have the King of Pentacles and the Strength in the reverse. This person wants you to believe that they have their shit together and they don't. They're not as strong as they want to make themselves look. So just be very, very careful, okay? They're lying. They're a liar. Like, let's be honest. They're a liar. We have Leo, Pisces, Gemini. Wow, there's a lot of major arcana here. This is a big deal. Please don't let this person back in. Uh, Leo, Pisces, Gemini, and Capricorn. Okay, let's go to Aquas, 
Okay, aquas. What's coming in for aquas in the new moon? Ooh. After a period of feeling incredibly lonely, things are going to start to pick up. So I don't know if you're meeting new people. I don't really see a lot of people here. But it looks like you've been stuck somewhere. I feel like it, I'm getting this image of you being stuck in the middle of the ocean. And I think it's because the Six of Swords is here, which is like moving on to calmer waters. Overall, Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you've been fucked over by a lot of people. <laughs> I feel like you've been fucked over with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you're very mistrusting of people right now. And so you've kind of... Um, been stuck where you are because you don't really trust anyone to walk with. I don't know if that even makes sense. I, I feel like you've probably gone through a huge sweep of like the people around you and I it kind of looks like you've cut some people off here with the three of wands in the reverse and the five of pentacles. So I feel like these two together just says like I've been stuck for a really long time and I need to leave some stuff behind in order to get things going again with the eight of wands so I love that the six of swords and the eight of wands is here eight of wands is like fast movement lots of communication just things moving um, just at a very I want to say like a rapid pace but it's exciting uh, so, and six of swords is like leaving behind drama and conflict and um, uh, like toxicity and stuff like that so I think that you went through a really rough period and you're finally like getting to the light at the end of the tunnel. So that's really exciting, Aquarius. I feel like that's a good, that's a good reading. What signs are here? Uh, everyone except water is here. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to like specific signs. I think it's more about you personally. Uh, 2201. All right, let's go to Pisces. All right, what's going on for Pisces? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to make food. Pisces, I think you need more friends. <laughs> so I don't know if you've cut people off or you just haven't been talking to a lot of people, but I think that that's what needs to happen. I think that's what you need to manifest and use the new like take advantage of the energy of the new moon and call in some new friendships. We have the three of cups and the page of wands in the reverse. I just feel like you haven't really been talking to a lot of people and I think that you need that. I think you need that socialization. With the nine of cups in the reverse, I feel like, I don't know, maybe you've just been disappointed by friends in the past or something like that and you don't really want to be disappointed again. So maybe that's why you've kind of been like in hermit mode when it comes to friendships. But I feel like it's starting to, it's starting to affect your heart, you know, your heart, your heart a little bit. Overall, we have the devil or temptation and four of cups reverse. I think like having more friends will help you stay more present. I think right now you're probably in a space of being like, okay, well, I don't know. It's kind of like going through the motions and just being like, well, can't wait to go to bed tonight. You know, that's what it feels like to me. So yeah, I, I, that's what I have for you, Pisces. It's time to call in some more friends. Uh, we have Capricorn here, so maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. You're not beeping? What the fuck was that? Anyway, um, that's what I have for everyone. Again, I'm so sorry that I have not been posting any long form content. I've just been very busy and very stressed out. So, um, and honestly, I've had no energy. <laughs> like, none so yeah i love you guys so much i will see you all later bye